every time I sit down to film a fucking video, the sun goes away. Like, it literally goes away right when I sit down. <sighs> my quads hurt. Where's the light at? Hey guys, Anika, welcome to my Chanika. Today I'm going to be telling y'all all about my favorite fucking YouTuber. I watch a lot of YouTube. It's not because no boy will ever talk to me and I have no friends. It's definitely not that. Um, it's just like it's... It's, it's, it's that. Today, I'm going to be telling you all about my favorite YouTubers. I have a wide selection of categories. The first one being eating, my favorite verb, my favorite thing to do. There are four different categories. We're going to start with eating, as I said, yada yada. <sighs> Ugh, give me a sec. Sorry guys, I'm having like a micro seizure. Okay, so the first one's name is Yuka Hinoshita. She is a mukbang. She's a mukbang YouTuber who lives in Japan. All of her videos are in Japanese, but she has English subtitles, which I use because English is my language. Oh, also, sorry, I look really busted right now. Ugh, the lighting is so bad. I, okay, whatever. I'm fine. She's fucking amazing. This girl, I put two at the fucking max. Probably about 90 pounds. Skinny little bitch will sit down and eat 10,000 calories worth of food in one sitting. And at first I thought, like, she's just throwing it up. Like, just face the fucking music. Like, she's throwing it up. She went to a doctor to get herself checked out because she's like, why am I not fucking fat but I eat so much? Her stomach expands to six times the size. Bitch, what the fuck? what the fuck? Her metabolism is like three times faster than any other person. It's fucking insane. Watching her eat all that food provides some kind of satisfaction for me that nothing else can. So I fucking love this bitch. The next one is Epic Meal Time. I don't really watch them as much anymore, but I feel like I should like point them out just because they're like pretty cool. They'll make like a fucking Cheeto cake or some shit. Like they'll just like put together a bunch of shit and they'll like make it into a cake or a burger. They'll just like make a fucking food out of a bunch of other foods. What am I trying to say? You get it. And they'll make like a 10,000 calorie lasagna or whatever and then they'll eat it. The last food YouTuber is How to Cake It. I don't really watch her. I need to get back into it. I used to be obsessed with her. She makes like cakes in the shape of food. Basically like fucking buddy from Cake Boss. My fucking dad. Like he gave birth to me. He is my dad. Yeah, she's like that. She's kind of annoying but like you kind of get used to it. Like, And also I just wanted to say that these are my favorite YouTubers but I have more favorite YouTubers than this. These are just like the less mainstream YouTubers. Anyways. So now I'm going to be moving on to beauty gurus. Again, these are the less mainstream beauty gurus. First one is Jamie Page or Jamie Page Beauty. I really trust her opinion. I'm not quite sure why. Also, her videos are so aesthetic. I strive to have my videos as beautiful as hers are. Her background and when she like shows the products, like the writing, everything. She also lives in Canada, so she gives the US prices and the Canadian prices for everything. She always links everything down below. She is just the most put together fucking bitch. Along with that, another person is Andrea Matillo Matillo I look fucking high Girl, I don't know how to say her last name I'm really sorry Coming from a girl that has a really weird foreign last name I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name But you're bomb as shit She has her fuck together It's crazy I wish I could be her Next is Kiki Chanel I watch her She's just like such a relatable person She does give a really honest opinions But I just love she's just like me She just like laughs And I don't know I can't really explain her She's just like a normal fucking person And then the last beauty guru Whose opinion I trust more than anybody else's Is named Liz loves her makeup this bitch will literally diss tart if need be like she will trash talk tart she is so honest and she does all of her videos in one clip and she talks so fast I watch all my videos on like 1.5 fucking speed and she like I don't even need to do it with her like she's so fast like I don't even know like it's crazy I like I love her like she's awesome Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to blogger, vloggers, sorry. Now I'm going to be moving on to vloggers. The first one is Clarissa May. I literally dyed my hair so that I could look like her. Like, it didn't work. 
but I tried. Her life is so interesting. She's a 17 year old living with her sister in Los Angeles, living alone. She has a really interesting story on why she's not living with her parents. It's really good. So if you want to watch like a dramatic story time, you can watch those. She has a bunch of them. But yeah, her life is so interesting and she's the cutest thing ever. And my goal in life is to meet her because she seems like such a genuinely sweet person. Then we got Faze Bank. He's been wrapped up in some of that drama, you know, with Jake Paul. I actually found him because of the drama. I, in fact, unsubscribed to Jake Paul and subscribed to Faze Bank. He's fucking hilarious and he's so sweet to his girlfriend Alyssa Violet so if you watch his vlogs you'll get to see a lot of Alyssa Violet because they're dating and more Alyssa Violet is a thumbs up in my eyes. And the last one is Logan Paul. The only reason why I'm saying this I know that he has a lot of subscribers it's just because you might have overlooked him because he's related to that demon. Yeah his vlogs are really entertaining he's really loud and sometimes when I'm like feeling low energy I'll watch his vlogs and I'll get really energized. I mostly watch his vlogs for Kong and Evan though I'm, I'm just gonna say it sorry there's like a weird what the fuck? And now we're on to the other section. There are only three in here. I'm almost fucking done. The video's over. The first one is the Tommy Edison experience. I love him. He's like a 50 year old man. He is so cute. He was born blind. So he makes videos about like blindness basically. It's not like lame videos. He did a video where he guessed the colors of candles based on their scent. But since he was blind from birth, he doesn't really know like if it smells like a pumpkin, it's gonna be orange. And he like doesn't know what orange looks like. He's just so adorable and his laugh is so cute. Like I highly recommend that you watch him. He, he makes the funniest videos and they're actually super interesting like you learn and you laugh which is the bomb oh fuck my phone turned off jesus why does my phone turn off so quickly do you guys know if i can like change that make the screen like not go black so fast then i have emma chamberlain i want to be her so bad she is the funniest bitch on the corner literally hilarious she started her channel beginning of summer 17 i'm sorry the lighting is so bad like i don't like i don't know what to do she started her channel at the beginning of summer 17 and she has 200k 200k and she literally films with like a really old camera and that is just proof that you don't need fancy ass equipment you just need a good ass personality and people will sub bro people will fucking sub i love her she's hilarious i definitely recommend that you watch her she's so deadpan it's just the funniest sense of humor in my opinion last one is idubs not idubs with an i like not i d u b s oh it's not i d b u i d b I can't do it. It's not I D U B Z Z Z Z Z whatever. It's like I like I like ah like ah. It's like A Y Y dubs. She's hilarious. Her best friend is Gen X Pen, which is why I'm kind of confused that she only has 700k. Like Gen X Pen has like three million. It's wild to me, but she's hilarious. I love her sense of humor. And yeah. That's the end of that fucking video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you got some new content from this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Um, whatever you do, don't give it a thumbs down. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on watching YouTube. <laughs> I will wish you the best, but you already have.